How's the team win? The, uh, the British are going to have to extract their paratrooper squads down to the airfield. And we are live with round one. So forces are going to be moving out here. Uh, British have to extract these three stranded squads down here to the airfield using nothing but their bulldogs. And the four bulldogs are now departing their main. Once the uh, British cross the 1011 line, there'll be intelligence given to Russians. Um, the uh, The, uh, the, the Brits can't leave Yarif, uh, Petrivka up here. So they're pretty much all singled up on the line. You can see some of these guys in the, uh, the, the woods right here. Yeah, I played in, I was Op 4 in the last, uh, in the last Mars event. Op 4 is pretty fun. Okay. Uh, it's boring uh, to show the stream, but, um, Sometimes you can't just Actually, have NPCs. Yeah, I, I was I was telling him to drop it all because he could rearm off the uh, the bulldogs. Yeah, you're right. Drop it all. Command, be advised that we're not gonna have much audio on command comms while we're in these vehicles. Roger that. All copy. All sounds. right. Uh, just another heads BTR. up. BTR. Tertiary extract. It's coming up the south road over. I understand. So it looks like Karma's got plenty of plans here. Yeah, Roger that. Solid copy. BTR headed off the road. Uh, BTR could cause some serious problems. The uh, bulldogs don't really have a lot to deal with it. They have to, they have to converge their fire if they're going to deal with the uh, BTR here. Um, the Russian forces aren't really that close. But they are moving. Hey, Black, uh, just careful with the mines on the south, because uh, we might have to call for tertiary. And the BTR basically in a in an ambushing pattern here. Um, Bulldogs still about to click up the road. Is that Karma Cut? Yeah, Karma Cut commanding British this round. Uh, we've got uh, Silas running the convoy right now of Bulldogs. Rather Scottish chap, Blackbeard, and Hedda are all paratrooper squad uh, leaders and we're waiting right here because the bulldogs are basically coming up the road um, we should be seeing them very shortly crest that hill or probably they're gonna turn that hill actually the uh, BTR is I wonder if it has eyes pony best pony is running the other side right now um and he's got squad leads and they're important i'll go over that we'll talk about who's on his team when they're up to bat for british side once we switch uh sides here at round two and guess what we see the bulldogs and they're rolling um Alpha Guido is going to be losing his mind very soon. The Bulldogs are pretty slow on the road, but they're moving. Russians know where the Brits are deploying. Uh, Russians only know, they, they only know where the squads are supposed to be. And uh, there we go. Pop 11. The grid has been given to the Russians. And guess what? The BTR is about to ready to get all the targets in the world. Silent is shot out in the BTR taking some fire. The BTR needs to get out of there. Uh oh, I think the BTR has lost an engine. The Bulldogs continue putting fire in. More tires are gone. And there goes Alpha Guido and Sergeant Jackson. That was the problem. This is one. Uh, Silas is dead. One of our crewmen's dead. Enemy BTR destroyed. All right, keep moving. Keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Keep going. No stopping. That was the problem. The BTR needed to. Uh, the, the BTR can't survive against volley fire against four bulldogs. So, so it looks like Razor right lost his gunner. That was silent. 
and uh, the second uh, Bulldog lost their squad lead. Minimal damage. And here we go. So, yep, we see the Russians here, and we've got oh, a set of Russians. They're actually surrounding. So now we're going to focus on the uh, the action up here. All squads, all squads, going Kirsch extract, south extract. Dash, I want you to make a left at the next MSR. <coughs> Secondary squad, crossing the street. You're going to take that white line. Here we go. The next left. Fire team is already crossing the street. And shots. The Brits have uh, nailed Koig. And those guys are not going to be crossing the street anytime soon. Ooh, that's a cheeky position right there. Look at Zaki. Zaki and Beowulf have put themselves behind this drainage embankment. And those Russians are going to run back. Meanwhile, there is a fire team of Russians that did make it across. They have been noticed, but they're not being fired upon right yet. Looks about five mics ish over. Russians adding in their own mini machine gun here. Yo. And uh, the secondary assault squad up here in the north, chilling on some high ground. Got a pretty good position. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, off map support. I need you moving to And this is a distraction play to get the Brits covered up so that their southern assault element can move in. And they're moving in through the trees right now. That. And British have already called for a south extract. The Bulldogs are actually moving towards... Oh man, and Zero Point is waiting right here with the high... Splodge gets pinged. The Bulldogs are still moving. And here comes the Bulldogs. The Russians are right over here. Suppression, but they're moving straight past. They got some lats right here, but are they shooting? No, they're not. One lat misses. Money Man and Zero Point both die. One of the Bulldogs gets hit. Minor damage. And that element has lost both of their heads. Russian Command. It's been almost, almost gets destroyed. One of the gunners is dead though. Pony might have got himself a kill. And they run right up alongside the Russian forces, running straight past. No lats on them yet. The Bulldogs, uh oh. The Bulldogs stop. The smoke. And here we go, the, uh, the exfiltration begins. British forces everywhere are mounting up the Bulldogs. Looks like about a squad is in there, maybe two squads now. Everyone is still running back. Old Geezer seems to be the last one alive, last one on the ground. And... They're waiting. The Russians are trying to move in, but they're not going to have a lot of success. They're still waiting. Two Bulldogs are still stationary. As a matter of fact, one of them is completely disappeared. Cool. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. That's a cool glitch. And here's uh, all the Bulldogs getting out of there. Lib and Nestor are having the the slow part, the slow start here. I think all of these guys are liberals. Uh, bulldog. 
But the exfiltration, 100% effective. I don't think the Brits took any casualties, many casualties anyway. Four to four is the score. And the Brits are completely gone. They are, so yeah, this is just, uh, so this is just some laggy uh, markers here, but everyone is in a vehicle. And they are moving out. Uh, just one bulldog is is trailed pretty hard, but everyone else is everyone else is intact. All four bulldogs moving. So, if I remember seeing this correctly, I think they're going to take this uh, ditch right here. So one Bulldog, a little slow. Two of the vehicles got hit by lat units, but uh, doesn't appear to be severe. And this is shaping up to be great for British forces. All the Russians are going to be on foot. All right, stand by areas of responsibility. I'm going to want squad uh, four, Hita. You're going to be in the eastern buildings. J1496. Let's take a look at the Russian troops disposition. I think they're all Good turning south and basically booking it. Uh, solid copy. Okay, Rod. Um, squad uh, Blackbeard. Looks like we have uh, the, the Russians are southwest, looking through the village just to make sure everything is copacetic. Right, two is going to be moving Back out. Right. I think two North took some casualties J13. earlier on. And Listen. that is Russian intelligence. Wait, who's you, Scottish. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's uh, backpipes. No, uh, Maybe his tracks got hit. Uh, yeah, there were vehicles, if you can, mentions the of the engine issues, engine damage. Your infantry. Copy it could very well be it. What's the, uh, right now, the, uh, the infantry uh, are... Uh, two squads of infantry plus the command for Russia be, uh, are booking it pretty hard. Scottish <clears throat> heat of dash. The, uh, Can I request that whoever has the gunners in the first two VICs leave your gunners in there, since I don't have enough dudes to man all of them? Yeah, we'll give you one. Uh, I don't want drivers in the Bulldog. Just the gunner yeah. stash. Sorry, can you repeat last day? Oh, uh, looks like Luke got himself turned around. You're, you're watching the Northwest, Scott. Copy that. Uh, do you want me to focus the... British win. North British, uh... And these, uh the, the hard yeah, part is... All done in those buildings. Yeah. Roger. They had to affect a lightning quick uh, rescue, but now they have to move across the map and get themselves set up here. They have three, all the, uh, the they have a bunch of resources. We are west side, west side trenches. Juliet, okay. Brits trying to excavate. Uh, it's trying to evacuate, but uh, yeah, yeah. they're going to exfil here on the uh, the airfield. Let's take a look at this real quick. So the the British have the entire airfield uh, for their defensive point, and usually the defense takes place in two parts of this field, really three parts of this field. Well, it's just two parts of this field. So they're either going to defend the south end of the airfield, which involves, usually it involves centering the defense on these two structures. The, uh, the, obviously the tower structure is going to have elevation, but it is basically a bullet magnet. And then you can put a command post or a radio in this building. And the limited entry points makes it, uh, makes it a pain to assault. Especially this room right here. All of the, uh, the windows are one thing, but you could very easily make this window a non-issue. And then basically hold off, sort of build a little trench system around the other entrances. Russians at the airfield? No, they don't have any vehicles except for the one times BTR, so they're all walking. There's also these hangars I mean, these that they could build in, but these are the hangars only have one entrance. 
So it's not, uh, yeah, it's I mean, not I ideal. Mean, I, I doubt the whole platoon's here, but they could have a squad here. You also have this little field right here. These fences Maybe can be jumped. Squad here already. However, it's still a pretty insular point of defense. It's not the best because it is rather exposed. It's not that it's exposed, it's just the walls can be jumped. You can't really build a defense around it unless you're going to put barbed wire everywhere. Can any of the infantry squads confirm they took out an enemy hat? Negative. Okay. The secondary From defense point... Count, they've got two hats plus a light rocket still. Roger. Is over here. This is, uh, it's less done. Mainly because some of these buildings are really awkward. Hey, Black, They're all front-facing exits. Slope, no secondaries. Solid copy. Dismount now, correct? Yeah, on this side before you crash, just in case they have something there. But if you want to funnel guys into a fatal area in front of you, it's pretty easy. The other side of the coin is it gives them a lot of cover and a maneuver. Squad two's bulldog, you can go straight building up to building. Juliet, 14, 7, and some of these uh, wide open windows, not ideal for defense. You gotta spend a lot of resources to make sure these are defensible. And usually, this is just a means of detection for putting your troops here. In this trench system, these uh, camps, as, these uh, the, the tents over there as well. You get a little bit of natural cover in some of these trenches, but uh, All right. they don't stop bullets. We can push up. All right, hey, uh, we Russian. There's long. still two squads maneuvering up here to the north, but Russian forces have about two squads yeah, sorry, getting I'm close to the north side. In the, uh, in the off dock, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, good. And the British have arrived. Bulldogs are spreading out. Oh, oh lord, oh lord. Guys, get the fuck out of my trench, keep moving. Alright, looks like the Bulldog is, um... Gonna have supreme elevation. No, no, it's fine. that here in a second. I think they'll fix that here in a second. We're going to trust that they're going to fix that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that happened. Um, the players are, for the most part, here. Um, Is that your title for the video? Yeah, that's gonna be Karma's video next week. Hey, if, uh, if you're all, get your squads all loaded in and start pushing. So we're running the operation. Uh, so get this is like the, the latter part of round push. one. The idea is that the British paratrooper squads dropped out behind enemy lines. They reinforced and they reconsolidated their position up to the north. The Brits uh, sent a bulldog column in to rescue those guys. And the one, one, they're gonna move down to man. the um You're gonna only have the gunners in those extraction the zone here. Somewhat near them. You're like last at the airfield. Slash the Russians slash could have started at any of those locations. We saw the nice. BTR start a Mike 4 9. We saw infantry Rather, a squad of two squads right? of infantry start at uh, Kilo 2 2. 
and India 10-8. They try to affect a pincer attack. Infantry squads try to affect a pincer attack on the village, um, but weren't fast enough. The Bulldogs were able to uh, basically deal with the BTR, come up the east road, and take a right at that intersection right above where the word stranded is. Or sorry, a left right there. And they uh, drove straight into the village, uh, rescued everyone, like and well. exfilled to the west. They okay, went across okay. country right around Fox 75. Yeah, south on the east and, uh, and west um, to make sure we don't get, like, extreme... They but if, like, made it back to the airfield. So we're picking up with you, British uh, at the airfield, and the Russians are massing for a counter-assault, or the massing for an assault oh, over in Novo, just, just uh, right, around India 12, uh, Kilo 12. So that's what's happening right now. Wait, one. You know how much ammo I have for the mortars? Ah, that's important. The Russians only use smoke mortars. The HE. The HE uh, was, was not used last round. I'm dropping the mortar tube uh, on live on where command is. And here we go, live for round one. Part two, uh, command said he wants to drop mortars. There's the dupe. And here we go. Blackbeard, because you are not going to be uh, too much in contact, you have full fire support uh, capabilities, all right? Copy that. So if you see contact and I'm not calling fire support missions, you, you have clearance to call fire support where you need it. Solid call. And the Russians are spreading out. We're yeah, live, yeah, no, dumb, so it looks like we're getting, we'll probably see uh, the build go up here really shortly. We're seeing sandbags placed. This is kind of a really cool position, too bad he can't see over the fence. He needs to be over here. So we're seeing the Bulldogs placed as part of the defense. Do we have infantry on the northeast corner? We might. Yes, I got it. Yeah, I got uh, Friendly infantry in Kilo 1477. <clears throat> All right, last time I'm going to say it. Areas of responsibility two, northwest, four, north, northeast. Squad 1 is on general overwatch to the direct north, west, and east. Squad 3 uh, flank protection, as well as uh, mortars and reserve. It's 1. Use, use the 1 in the radio menu when you initially press in the radio menu. It's in the first menu. Just hit T. What was that? Holy shit, bro. I missed click records, oh, my bad. I am talking to someone, right? And then they, I accidentally they, touched the wrong button. IDF bunkers. They get two times, uh, mortar strikes. That's why you don't have mouse one next to your uh, communication keys. Oh, hey, Silent's here in a gun. He's going to get some kills. <laughs> if, the, if the Russians come up over this hill, he's going to get some kills. So the Russians are taking their time getting in position here. They're all here. Call they're just holding position. I think they're trying to see if the... They're anticipating the British could be in the forest right here. Expect contact any second now. Over. Uh, my NG engaged west far. Roger, three, make sure you advise west far. Check that flank. West far? Yeah, copy. Is there anyone over here? Uh, one lead, one lead. I want all your bulldogs to drop half ammo over. They're not. Yeah. British, you're jumping, man. British are a little jumpy right now. 
mattress, but I don't think it's a good idea. <clears throat> nah, you're in for some trouble. They'd be here by now. Hey. They're probably going east up the hill. Go for command. Or west in the low ground, They're going towards south. Here we go. Now we're seeing some Russian movement. Two squads crossing the main right, road. Going right. to be on the east side of the road. Pretty common to use this ditch. Keep building while you can. The minute we start popping off, it's going to get fucking messy. But uh, obviously, if there was anyone over here, it'd be causing some serious problems. And here comes the Russians moving out. We're seeing two squads also approaching the uh, west side of the city, west side of town, making the way south. Command is actually uh, a little exposed here on the west side of the road. But obviously, he's going to be moving in here as careful as possible because he wants to be able to put down fire support. Russians still get fire support. Which is probably why we saw them wait. The Russian fire support mission, I think the admin said, was a five minute timer from live. Could be more on the forgiven side here for thinking the. Uh, for thinking these guys might be uh, getting fire support sooner. Russians making some good progress up here on the right here side. Here we go. And, uh, try to We're going to see contact in the north here. Squad two to command. Go for command. We've got a squad size element northwest moving from north to west. Yeah, I see what you see. North to the west, roger that. And Incoming old geezer uh, missed it Incoming and is shot down. The first casualties of part two here. And Scrooby's all by himself. We got mortars coming in. And they put the mortars, I think, pretty much right on the, uh, right on the radio building. <clears throat> more coming in. Mortar right on the, uh, the bulldog position here. Give me a grid silent, if you can. Midas goes down. The Russians are making really big progress here. And here comes the mortar barrage. Looks like a minimal. Russians starting to shoot in. Oh, Nestor gets pummeled by some mortar rounds, but he ain't moving. He's, he's still got his, uh, he's still got his tracks. And we're seeing Roger. mortars go out. Doobie school on the Three, mortars here. Brits have lost several on their north side, and the Russians are in the trenches. <clears throat> mortars landing behind the Russian position to their west. Koi takes out Hollowbread. Yep, yep. Hollow's down, Hollow's down. It's not good. The Russians have really made it into the trench line here, and they're going to cause problems. There's also the Russians trying to come over here, but I think they're going to get shut down pretty easily. You went to throw smoke, you went to throw smoke, and then hop over the fence. Where, where should we throw smoke? Frenzy making a beeline. From here, here. Joins his guys, Abu Hajar. Oh, and a TK. Oh, Koig is gonna. If Koig knows what's going on, he's gonna get up over this trench line here. <clears throat> Beowulf turned around and looked behind him, didn't see anything. They're still looking, they're not looking behind. 
McCoy gets them both. The Russians are getting some casualties as they try to run in straight at the, uh, the Bulldog here. Alpha Guido gets killed. Rushing the fence. They've put all of the smokes on this wall right here. And I just sprayed the they wall. still have nothing. They don't have a response for the uh, mortar or for the uh, bulldog here. And looks like a bulldog lost a gunner. Roger, through two, pull it in, pull the defense in. Now the defense point is this building, J1495. So all of this over here on the west can be collapsed back. Shadow Rat dies. The Russians own the trench line now. Nestor should probably think about hitting himself back, but he wants to get some kills. He gets tails. He's gonna force the Russians to stay below the line. Nestor takes a lot to the side skirt. But he's gonna sit here and uh, until the fat lady sings, Salty Toast dies. Getting into the uh, trench line. Oddball's just sitting here waiting for anyone to pop their head up. Everybody's staying still. Ooh, Airborne gets killed. There goes Lightning. Blackbeard calling in a fire support mission. Probably just needs to throw these things on about 100 meters distance All and just go for it. Collapse the defense a little bit. Collapse the defense. Oddball is still live over here on the west side. Uh, who else is over here? Is there anyone else over here? I don't think so. Hey. It's just Oddball and Nestor. Sort of out here. Nestor's not moving that bulldog at all. Root is going to take a shot on this. Maybe Burtonizer. Burtonizer gets his face taken off. Ah, uh, William's going to throw away with smoke. And there's the cue for Nestor to get out of there. Russians slowly surrounding the northeast side here, but they still have a fire team plus in reserve and they ain't done anything else yet. Captain Morgan's got him suppressed if they even think about trying to cross the road. They have to move across the road using the building for cover. Smoke covered, smoke coming. Doesn't look good for Russia, but they still have both folks up on the west side. It's 16 kills British to 10 for Russia. Nestor gets himself out of there, and he's going to fall back pretty much on the mortar position. And with that smoke in his way, that's going to be kind of difficult. Showing his rear end to potential lat gunners could be bad. <laughs> the mortars keep coming. And all of the smokes going to be perfect. What's going on, Cesslo? What's going on, guys? Alamo time indeed. The mortars are far, about 50 meters. But they're really closing in to inside mortars' effective range. There's only a fire team on the west side now. And a fire team has made it across over here on the east. Defense is doing pretty good for British right now. The British looks like they've given up some of the south here. Dwarf and Elite are crawling along here. Uh, only one man guarding this side of the uh, this side of the road, and he's looking more up the road. He doesn't really have a lot of visibility right across. Heard uh, Lat get fired here. Looks like they tried to hit Nestor's, uh... They tried to get Nestor's, uh, Bulldog here at a distance, but... Yeah, I think that was zero point, trying to make a shot. He might be lining up for another one. 
Oh. And something hits a little short there. They keep trying to hit that bulldog. Mortars are still inside range here. Uh-oh. And Nestor's now firing on Oddball. Koi is dead. And they're trying to throw smokes here. What can they do? Not much. The Brits uh, falling back here. Razor's gonna try to get that Bulldog out. How many lats the Russians get? They got a lat per squad. Plus they get two hats. Oh, and another the rocket shot misses. That was a tandem rocket. You can see how slow it was traveling. Unfortunate. It missed Razor. Uh, Karma's commanding British this round. Oh, there we go. The mortars are pretty close. It's just Frenzy still alive here. Uh, actually, uh, Stolen Snowman has, um, crawled his way through the trench line. Oh, never mind. He gets deleted by Frederick and the Bulldog. And Frenzy soon to follow, I think. Uh, another rocket gets fired here at Razor's Bulldog. Looks like that one hit. Hold on. Yeah, I got trapped. And Razor gets shot out of the turret. Oh, he just got sniped by the Bulldog. Yes, correct. just east of Raf. One crit east of Raf, there are enemies. So, the, it's not a lot of people over here in the west, or sorry, in the east for Russia, but they could get close. They have to defend the, uh, the building right here. British have to defend this building because the radio's in here. Meanwhile, west side, everybody's dead. The only Russians remain are over here. Here comes the lat guys, zero point. Trying to get back in the fight here. 13 kills Russia, 27 for British. Dark Lord is holding off this building by himself. Samson even wants to get into it now. Dog go bark. And Dark Lord gets mortared, I think, or he gets, he gets killed. The mortars are pretty close. The mortars close to causing significant casualties on Russia. May have gotten one kill there, but... <clears throat> Don't get shot, Revy, Garrett, and Zero Point, the last ones remaining here. Revy, pretty free to maneuver here. Zero Point got into the, uh... Mortars are walking closer. Uh, you can see Modern Death has got himself positioned right here. He's got a nice position, but I think Revy might have let us some shot. Yeah, he's dead anyway. Yikes. Juliet 14, uh, Juliet 13. Th yeah, Juliet 13, 3, 3. And don't get shot. Comes in, zero point. Takes out a bulldog. And ooh, Modern Julia Death ping, uh, wings Garrett as he runs into this little yard right here. These guys are stuck. The last British, uh, sorry, these are the last Russians, I believe, alive. Actually, Elite made it across. And Elite is slowly working his way through the field. Don't 
Okay, Chuck, gonna wrap around the fence here. Zero and Garrett gonna follow behind. Ooh. What's up? You're good, you're good. Oh, sorry, from the comms. And the defense is, the east, uh... The east, directly east of you, squad four, the other side of that. Irma had eyes on someone crossing the lane right here, I think. Doobie still firing mortars. And Bulldog takes out zero point. Frederick on the Bulldog. And there goes Garrett. Garrett tried to get a leg up to try to shoot the Bulldog. Nothing happening. It's just Elite. Elite is now crawling in the trench line. And he just killed. And now it's just, uh... Now it's just don't get shot. He's got a clear run up to the uh, the objective building, but too many uh, too many British troops in the way between him and the radio. He's gonna give it a shot though, and I think Frederick is gonna zing him right here. Oh, yep, there we go. And that's GG. Round one in the books. 20, 32 kills for British. Sixteen. We're not standing by anymore. 16 for Russia. Woo! Do you know what a prone jump? I not know how to prone jump. Yeah. Like just jump, go prone? Like a crouch yeah, jump? Yeah, do it at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yep. You can get behind right. there too. Yep, there you go. Oh, this is nice. What a nice slime. Dude. They'll, they'll never find us. Dude, it's actually good. Yeah. You stay in there. I'll hop in the garbage disposal. Hey, you're gonna stay in oh, there. Oh, I can buy bud! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Wait, hop in the garbage so you can buy bud. Might have to prone jump. Yep. If you, you die in this position, down. I will call it someone took <sighs> out the trash. Yes. They'll <laughs> never get me. It's, it's actually. I'll watch this angle to the fucking death. It's actually the stupidest thing I think I've seen today. I usually have. And we had a, a server crash, guys. To use in a moment. There were vehicles rolling earlier, guys. No, excuse me. This is I'll my try to hide it in the bushes South? so they can't see it too much. All right, uh, about forty-five seconds till we get started here. Uh, let's take a look and see if we see any Russians. Uh, there's a BTR Kilo Two Two. It's got a squad in it. Uh huh. Let's see. Any other place? How about Golf Eight? That looks like it has uh potential uh people in it. Yeah. And oh, here we go. Uh, India Ten has a squad. Looks like we got one squad here. One squad in the BTR. Oh, one squad have, Golf Eight. If we do end up getting the rescue through, we're gonna have them go to the uh, admin buildings. And let's see here. We're going to go live any second now. What have you missed? Round two starting in three, two, one, live. We're going to go to admin after uh, we pull off the town. The admin building's in the northeast. And here we go. And oh, here's yeah, another squad. Yeah, so it looks uh, like they've we'll spread themselves the out. We'll Probably a squad starting here at November 5. Then, yeah, you'll just be mobile 50 cal. Well, not mobile. You'll be 50 cal with a lot of help. We're going to fly over here and double check yeah, and right. verify this. And BTR headed straight south. And here comes the Bulldogs up the east road. Yeah, we're just gonna stay inside and try to get him to push. We can't go oh, inside, so maybe there's a squad on foot here? Yeah, so that's what it is. So two squads okay, started north. If we, one if squad in the BTR, way, one squad on foot. The, and the, the fucking gunner gets killed, they are immediately hit F2 and switch the gunner's seat. The only way we can beat this <clears> is just by being completely hard. Looks like we got Midas driving the BTR with Scrooby gunning. And there is a commander in the commander seat, Zaki 90. So the mission is the British in blue. British forces are trying to send their bulldog column to the town of Petrivka here to rescue these guys. Uh, these guys can only leave via the bulldogs. They can't run off on foot. They're going to rescue these guys and bring them down to the airfield, Julia 14. And they're going to hold up at the administration building, is what I heard. 
So they're going to build their fob up here and defend this until the end of the round. Right now, the Brit, the Russians are all over the place. One squad at the broken uh, overpass. And Karmakut, commanding Russia, puts himself right on the perch. And he's looking for things to shoot. And the BTR is going to pull up here. And the BTR is going to have this nice perch with which to I, I, uh, continuously to squeak uh, okay. tires. We're going to get all of you at the same time, so... Yeah, I don't really think that matters. I want an Alamo this position. You're just going to show up, park on the road, and then you're all going to come and get in the Bulldogs. Remember when Overpass wasn't around, broken? It's not intact, but it's still broken. Hear that tire squeaking? Yeah, so that is some friction right here, and the BTR right. opens up. Don't Oh, chicken and dwarf. Woo! Dwarf asks, are we live? Gets uh, almost a face full of uh, HETP. You see, they did what we should have done, so. I'm still good. So the... Sandbag's already compromised, so. BTR. Oh, so they saw the sandbag and they just saw a bunch, shot a bunch of people. Can you come look at me real quick? And you'll be on your own. So... Totally Here comes more down. Russian infantry, one from the west, yeah. one from the south. And the backup squad that was on foot is now almost yeah, caught up to the overpass in the north. Your brain's blowing up there, Dorf. The shots are just right next to me, I was very scared. Dorf, can you, how just, no, BTR I shooting over the entire village to try to kill uh, Dorf there. Almost did it. Scrooby on the gun. And Karma looking for these bulldogs. Bulldog's intended path is going to be coming all the way up here to the main road. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, looks like the Russians going to set up a little treat for these guys here. Maybe get these guys on the high ground. And there we go. Papa 11. The, uh, the 10 11 line has been crossed. And the Russians can intel where the Bulldog guys are coming out of. Bulldog looking for looking for some uh, good times and uh, or sorry the BTR is looking for some good times and very shortly it's going to be able to see these bulldogs come up the uh, east road here in the distance you can see the east road in the middle of the screen now it's a ways away but uh, BTR could the BTR could try to cause problems uh, but like we saw last round the um, the BTR <clears throat> doesn't do good 1v4. Brits get a tank? No, the Brits don't get a tank. They get four Bulldogs. Bulldogs are not tanks. Uh, they might be able to survive a lad or two, but maybe. Like, that's asking a lot for these things. And here's the Bulldog column. They're looking for targets. The BTR, remember, is on the overpass. What? What do you mean? Where is BTR? It's up near the overpass. Got and the BTR is now waiting for shots that it can take. Side. Basically, once these guys turn on the road here, they're lining themselves up the for the BTR. The Screw be getting ready here. These guys are turning onto the road now. They want to do a combat line. Is the BTR going to engage from uh, Where, from a exactly click? No, it's yeah, about uh, 900 meters in closing, 800 yeah, meters. Sorry, they're not getting information. BTR not firing. Here we go. Very soon. There we go. Okay. Lightning Scott shot out. Here comes the Bulldogs. Tyler is dead. 
Bulldogs are engaging. Pony gets oh into the BD. There we go. Oh, is he reloading? No way. The BTR needs to start firing or needs to move. The BTR is getting low. It's lost a wheel. The BTR is going to go pop and the commander is going to die right beside it. It's not good. Karma wants to get a piece of this. The BTR is now going to try to move, but it's lost a wheel. Pony's dead. Commander for British forces is dead. And the Bulldogs are turning to fight here. Russian right. lats may, may have scored a shot there. Another shot hit. Don't get shot, get shot in the side and he immediately goes off the side of the road. Russians are closing in on the west side of town, but we're gonna hold into this battle. The Bulldogs are closing the distance of the BTR. Scrooby needs to start shooting here. The BTR is gonna go pop any second now. Three Bulldogs just rolling up on it with impervious impunity. And there go Venus and Scrooby. Karma dies. Both commanders are dead. They're trying to shoot the gunners out of these uh, turrets. Three Bulldogs make it through. One of them is still stuck. They'll get shot by himself. Point blank shots from Lats are not gonna arm in time. And don't get shot. Takes the last Bulldog out. And I'm seeing TKs. This is not good. Don't get shot runs over Rain Man. Takes it into the trench. A ditch on the right side of the road. No gunner, so they need to put the rocket into these things. Russian lats are just not there, and here we go. The Bulldogs pull into town. No lats south. They looks like they take a shot at Don't Get Shot. He's already been hit by a lat. I'm pretty sure. Light damage. It takes a square on shot, and he survives. Russian hats not getting any kills here. Four Bulldogs make it into town and the British infantry is falling back. There's still Bartok on the south end of town. <clears throat> and he's a hat for sure and he's got an ammo bearer next with him. And they're gonna roll back up north. Hey. It's not good. The British Bulldogs are being engaged. Last shot might have uh, got some kills there. I'm seeing some rat. I'm seeing some ragdolls on the ground. We will actually mount the vehicle while running. That's amazing. British Bulldogs are withdrawing north. The rescue has been affected. Many casualties on the way, though. We're seven casualties British, 12 kills for Russia. But the Bulldogs are going to make it out. Round skipping off the side of the armored personnel carrier. And the Bulldogs are going to expel. It looks like a lot shot misses for Russia. These guys are still getting hit pretty hard here. The Bulldogs are gonna come off the side of the road. The Bulldog Gunners are getting kills. More Russian casualties. They're gonna come up the side of the overpass. One of the Bulldogs is actually at half health. The other three seem to be doing okay. No loss of treads or anything. And the Russians over here on the east side of town are making a run for it. They need to have lats loaded. They need to get clear so they can shoot. Oscar Mike, I think he's a hat. Is he going to take a shot? He takes a shot. It's slow. And it hits the embankment railway. 
the rail, uh, the big big rail. Bulldog still with the suppression as they exit the east side of town. The Bulldogs survive, all four of them survive. And now they're going to take the long way around. They need to get to the airfield fast. The Russians are already turning to leg it down south. This is round two. The Brits successfully expel four squads. Well, about three squads, really. They, they've taken 12 casualties. But they've inflicted 10. Halfway through round two here, the Brits are going to have to. Uh, the Brits are now going to roll out. All right. Uh, UAV reports tell me that infantry is starting to run southeast out of Petrovka. That's fine. We just keep moving. And yeah, now we'll here comes the waiting game. So the yeah, Brits are going to have to move as fast as they can. Around. Looks like they might take this road here. We're gonna set up. We'll try to get up to the, the Russians. We'll do our best to set up on the south Let's side. see what direction the Russians are taking. If, We're gonna fly over here for a second. We'll just, uh, set up two bulldogs yeah, now they have to defend the airfield. We'll but they have to north. get there first. You still wanna set admin? I don't give a shit about the admin building. They'll probably end up taking it from us anyway. Both commanders we'll are dead. Alright, Roger. But we'll set Looks up, like we'll the entire south. Russian team has uh, just so walked into Petrivka here. The they're clearing it. And, uh, set up and the they're clearing it, and they're going to realize that no one's here. Since my squad's only three people, we'll, we'll and they're getting organized. The, uh, Looks like they're getting organized and rearming. All the ammo bearers dropping uh, their bags. Squad, well, they're not moving down south yet. Are Russians moving the cover. troops? Well, they don't have their BTR, so uh, they're on foot, guys. So we're going to have the Russians on foot for two and a half clicks. Three clicks. Raj. Kelby, where specifically are we throwing down a radio? The Bulldogs, more than halfway there now. And yeah, they are taking that road right here at Papa 11-8. And they're going to come off, rejoin the main road, the main north-south road on the Kilo file, and then probably hit the, uh, they want the admin buildings, what I heard. So, similar defensive right, posture for five, round two. Less numbers. Copy. Uh, or fewer numbers, rather, for the British, the but the they still have four Bulldogs, I and the Russians still the... have a lot of their Latin units up. Maybe we should set up the command post up there. <clears throat> I think we're okay with the command post on the south end, because we'll see them coming. They have really no mobility to get around us. Comes the Bulldogs. As long as we put the Bulldogs in a good spot. Convoy rolling down the, uh, the access road here. Woo! That was, that was some, that was pretty intense. Pretty well executed, given the amount of casualties that both sides incurred. Pretty smooth altogether, and the Bulldogs still bullied that uh, BTR out of the equation. It's a big loss for Russians here. Here comes the uh, Bulldogs.
driver error here. And the Bulldogs have made it to the admin buildings. Russian infantry on foot so far away. And they're just rolling down to the south side of the airfield here? Hmm. Maybe they've called an audible. Maybe I missed part of the command comps here. Maybe they've changed where they want to bring these bulldogs in. Ooh. Drifting. Which got zero point. Oh. Smooth. Three squads out, three lodgies in for British forces. And we're going to leave the British to right, assemble their defense. We're set up around the fucking hangers. Around the hangers. There we go. Yep. So that is the change. We're seeing a south defense. Russians still got two clicks to so run. A couple of them on the northeast side where the uh, conic boxes are. The southeast side. And then the rest uh, somewhere down here. Oh, uh, they, they, they're, taking a, they're taking a little dip here. Well, maybe it's just a shallow little lake no, drainage glitch here. I mean, whatever. It's their it's their socks are getting drenched. Copy, I full these, uh, squad. Voluntarily making an assault with wet boots. Trying. Yeah, I don't know. Two, you got the building. Say again, you cut out. Russians still making a run for it. Two, so the Brits are going to have some time here. This is what's supposed to happen between uh, action parts for the, uh, the, the mission here. Uh, now the Brits are going to be defending this area. Now, I did go over that this is a potential defense point based around these two structures and the, uh, the hangars here. And it looks like we're going to see the major defense point be one of the hangars. The second to last hangar, they're going to throw the radio next to the static, uh, air, the static Dude, crates here. Dude, that was here. a vehicle. That was kind of good, like, five people, I think. Felt like it. What is it? What you, how is it not working? I think, I think Mendex might have got the BTS crates. Oh. Yeah, well, I make it roll. And the uh, British now getting their supplies. <laughs> Trotter, that's nice, nice, uh, nice reference there. It's a bold move, Chad. Let's see if it pays out for him. Pays off for him. What boots actually give a negative? They should. Bold strategy. That's what it is. Bold strategy, chat. Let's see if it pays off. Russians making their way to Novo. Making their way downtown. Walking fast. They should be coming at any point. Literally any time they'll come. This is this is fun. This is this is this was a good this was a good round too. I say it was not done yet. You guys are you guys are actually so lucky I don't have a soundboard ready and waiting. Actually, you know what?
All right. This is all of these sounds are going to be so loud. We're going to keep it in the background. Are they allowed to sell from the West? Yeah, they can sell from anywhere they want. Um, actually, it really makes it. I've made this assault from the West here at least twice in squad ops. Um, one time it was successful and I was TK'd at the last possible second, uh, assaulting this building through a maze <laughs> of, of obstructions. <laughs> I, uh, I threw me. a grenade in the door. I was right here. There's a HESCO wall in front of me, so I had to run around it. And... Well, Someone a threw a grenade. A Someone tried to throw a grenade, right like all over yeah, and, and, uh, nice. like an embankment, uh, sandbag line right here. They threw a grenade and it bounced yeah, off the uh, the, the door frame, and I was sitting right here, holding the holding the angle so that no one could come out and shoot me. And I was getting ready to make my way in, and someone threw a grenade and it bounced off the door and it killed me. Right after the last guy had died inside. Um, I'm not bitter, but if you're going to throw a grenade, you know, put it in the hole. It's the least you can do for your fellow man. Feels bad, man. It did. What can you do? So we got uh, Comblamo and Burtonizer oh. up here in the tower. Uh, they are not Excuse long to go, live. Go back on fast, otherwise the Dukin's gonna throw a nade in here. Yeah, no. They are inevitably going to be killed first, or they'll be spending the rest of the round prone, trying to hide behind the concrete walls. Oh, get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. He's mad. Get down. He's Where? mad. No. He's mad. A Dukin, he's mad. Oh, here he comes. I don't know what their deal so is here. Get back to the fucking and board. we're slowly that. building the uh, super fob. Built out of sandbags. Of course, you have this uh, trench line here in front of the uh, hangars. Super cool position that we haven't actually used before. I don't think we've used these particular trenches over here before as part of an assault or as part of a defense on a position. I'll take a look at this. Pretty smart uh, decision. Stick one of the uh, bulldogs behind some double tall sandbags. Right next to your pile of aft gas. Almost, uh, almost smart, but you know, it's. Aft gas ain't going anywhere. Matter of fact, there's not really anything in there. I mean, really nothing there. Russians close? 600 meters. Close on the north, uh, west side, I the northeast it. side, though. I have it. The one oh, squad that just ran yep. straight south. Well, I say squad, it's just a, it's a fire team. Dark Lord R4 with Reagan of Terra and Summers. Wait, don't set it up, don't set it up. Copy. I've got a better place for Maybe one RPG tube amongst these three. I lied. There's zero RPG tubes amongst these three. Who's coming to the sides? Uh, they're both dead. So I believe Dorf has taken over British command. I'm not sure who's commanding Russia at this point. Four, look to your far north as contact up there. Russians are gathering. Raj. The talk, chat. I believe Blackbeard may have taken over here. 
And it looks like these guys are splitting up a little bit. Just slightly. Make sure you have guys watching west or south. So They're starting to spread west. out anyway. Anyone, anyone, make sure you have people looking west as well. And Hedda could be skylining here, but I uh, is the Brits gonna be able to see this from here? I think they got a tree line. Yeah, so this this tree line right here is saving the Russian advance. The only ones that are gonna be able to see it are gonna be up here in the tower, and uh, Bert or Nashville's not looking yeah, the right direction. <laughs> Nothing's coming through that. Wait a second, what happens if they mortar this area? Is it just gonna be an absolute explosion of sandbags? Yeah, probably. Yeah, they're gonna mortar this area. Oh shit. No, they're not gonna mortar us, because they don't have mortars. Yeah, they're gonna use artillery, which is even bigger. Good meme. Hey, I'm gonna need you guys' help with the, put some sandbags up here. Bulldog in a position to try to cover across the airfield. <clears throat> And the Brits are going to use all of their build, and they're not going to put down any emplacements. So they're going to use all of their build on uh, sandbags and uh, defensive position, defensive fortifications. Tower's a trap. Yeah, the tower's a trap, but it could give them enough notice of their, the enemy movement. Russians close to within 500 meters. I'm ready. Take a look at the Russian position over here in the west. Yeah. They're skirting around. They're gonna get into the, uh, they're gonna get into the low hill delta sort of, uh, the sort of, the, the run over here. Hey, Dorf, you got the mortar down? No, I didn't do a mortar. Should definitely get a mortar down. Well, we don't have points for it, so. Oh fuck. I I didn't care to do a mortar. There you have it. Or if didn't care for a mortar. To be honest with you, what are you gonna do with a mortar? Just like zero it. You're basically max elevation, and you're just pointing it towards the direction where the enemy's coming from. You won't really have a lot of visibility until they get close. And when they get close, you're just right, guessing and spreading it out. Your guys on defense now. And it has to be said, minimal presence for British watching the West here. They got Koig and uh, Abu Hajar watching through the uh, barricaded entrance here. Razor wire. And they're not going to really have eyes on until the last minute here. Russians closing within 300 meters. Uh, we got Hedda here with an MMG in front of him and a fire team leap behind. And even then, look at all this foliage in the way. The Russians are going to be able to get close here. But... This is where the tower should start to be able to uh, get some eyes on targets. Should be hearing calls come up the chain of command from uh, Nashville here. West on my yep, and here we go. Moving north to south. Adukan has eyes on modern death. West, how many? Uh, fire team. Russians still proceeding northwest. Twenty bucks says first contact up north will be a coin toss. I mean, yeah. Not a real explosion. Moving right. 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 I'm gonna be on. The I think Bert Nizer right might have eyes on. The, uh, <clears throat> last contact okay. I saw was at two six four, but he moved. He was behind the trees, so. Okay. These guys might have eyes on first, but they're going to be the biggest targets for Russia as they get close. 
Modern Death and Wrath are actually, uh... Now they're crawling. And you can barely see Wrath from here. Everyone's final fallback position is this... I wonder... I don't see shit. That is the Alamo. No, there, I promise. I saw him. I saw at least two. If Raph, yes, Raph has eyes on this position. Keep an eye. Right, I Does the gunner see it? Probably flanking this. Looks at the whole platoon. Modern Death is deployed. I think they're gonna try to take a shot at uh, Burtonizer here. Oh, Rounds hey, coming hey, in from the northwest. Contact three, four, five, AR. Oh hey, guess what? The Russians are on the airfield. Doobie Scoo okay, spotting for Captain Morgan. We're back We're back We're back oh, and Kablamo <laughs> wants to put an AT4 on target. And clear it, clear it, clear the back lap. Uh, Tell me when you guys are clear. Pretty, hold for a Pretty, hold. Hold it. All right, um, yeah. overshot oh, thin bones. Down. Oh, there goes Burnizer. Oh, gunner down, North. gunner down, gunner down. Got it. And Airborne is throwing some rounds here pretty far. Oh, sorry, don't get shot. Throwing rounds across the entire... <laughs> across the entire British, uh, deployment. And all the, all the tracers coming up on Nashville. The Blimo gets hit. Nashville and Kablamo are stuck here, but the Russians not really making moves. One squad is actually flanked all the way around to the north side. Two squads starting to poke in here. Here's Modern Death uh, with Hedda making a run at the uh, the southwest entrance. They haven't taken any fire yet. These are the guys that I thought were going to be uh, pretty much pinged out immediately because i thought modern death had eyes on the uh, tower he didn't take a shot and modern death is gonna make a run up here quake running alongside quake saw quake saw him quake saw him right quake is looking through the fence Russians sweeping all the way around. Modern Death wants to get up on the uh, ridge line right here. Quig's gonna shoot him in the face. Quig is looking. I think it might see someone over the shoulder. Quig takes some shots at Modern Death. And Quig and Frenzy now looking for these guys over here. Modern Death tries throwing. Oh, that is not going to end well. Bye, the Modern. Oh, that actually went over. The grenade went a little far over, but it went over. Russians starting to get online over here. Tails gets hit. And Mortar's far side. Boyg and Frenzy still holding these guys off, but they... I don't know if they realize that the uh, fence is stopping them. They're going to have to run all the way to the south side and find a hole in the fence down here. I don't think there is one, actually. Zero point moving his uh, bulldog around. Russians, just not a bad first engagement. A little test of the defense there. 14 kills Russia, 10 kills British. Not a bad first uh, shot on the defense at all. Smoke mortars on the tower. Oh, and a rocket shot. May have winged Morgan, but backblast could have cause problems. What was that? I heard an explosion. Zero Point is taking the Bulldog by himself. Uh, 
there's a full squad in the trenches 100 meters north. Now. Copy for Shoot him, fall back, shoot him, fall back, shoot him, fall back. That's your how you're doing. So and so it looks like this squad wants to start using the trench system to get closer. It's going to be a little ways away. Uh, the squad that wrap around north is proceeding south along the east side of the road. So, looks like they want to... If Russia really get their leg on here, they can uh, put themselves over here and cause some serious issues. Just Alpha and Lemma being uh, holding that compound there to Morning, their south. Kill's still pretty uh, even. These guys are stuck here. To proceed closer, they're gonna have to over themselves up to fire. They're gonna they're gonna keep with the uh, they're gonna keep with the prone, but it can only get them so far. The blammo actually gets out the tower. Oh, Nacho eats a heavy AT. Wow. Bartok. What a shot. Just lobs. Tan Moorhead across the airfield gets a kill for it. Not too mad. And the uh, Bulldogs are actually engaging these guys, trying to come through the field. They're shooting through the tree line across the airfield. Now the British are just using AT assets on infantry. Dark Load or 4 gets destroyed by, uh, I think that was Lima Bean. Russians getting closer here on the north side. Captain Morgan about ready to make a turn. And Putin gonna fall back. Russians now throwing smokes. I thought. Yeah, Russians throwing smokes. 13 kills, Brits. 17 for Russia. Russia still keeping the, uh... Oh no. Don't get shot. Destroys Lima from behind. Mortars landing near the position. Hedda and Modern Death are still trying to make their way up here. I think Koig is keeping them at bay. I think they may have traded here. Grenade. Lands a little far. Still gets Koig hit. And Koi has to bandage. This is the time for them to push up. Russians close here on the north side. One squad. Another smoke gets thrown. Squad four three effective. Copy. British Copy. defenses are folding pretty, uh, pretty precipitously here. Captain Morgan gets killed, leading the formation through the trenches. And I think I've got him. Doobie Scoo has to sort of hold his position. Reload. Now I have to reload twice. Fuck me. Right on the west southwest border. More smokes being thrown here from Russians. Oh boy. The Blamo gets hit in the tower again. Russians making a lot of progress over here on the east, but those Bulldogs are still going to be problems. Zero Point is still patrolling in his to the south of the entire airfield. And he's about ready to get himself uh, some more targets here if he pokes through these trees. And the Russians starting to clear the trench line. About a fire team plus in strength. Some of them even skirt along the fence. Oh, and a grenade! 
I just got about five guys with the fucking rocket. Kablamo! With the multi kill, you got four! Yeah, these trenches in front of the hangar. Kablamo single handedly stops the trench defense, or stops the, 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 the trench assault. I pulled most of my dog for now. Kablamo rearms! He gets another two! Kablamo has single-handedly yeah, taken out an entire squad. Six kills. We're good for now. Pooty, drop back here. Drop back a little bit, Pooty. Yeah. yeah. And that instantly yeah. evened it up. Yeah. 21 kills for British, 22 for Russia. Russia still have a squad plus east side of the field. Had a actually dug through. Modern's dead. Uh, but Hedda makes it through, and it looks like Zaki and Oddball are trying to get through the fence. No, 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 no! You're doing a great job, and they're set up perfect. Alpha Guido destroy Zaki. Alpha holding outside the fence here. It's gonna be good. Uh, but I don't think he saw Hedda. Is Hedda gonna turn around and try to make a do something here? He might. Zero point still living, and he's gonna come over here and try to help the, the western side defense. It's gonna give Russia the opening they need to get in position here and start setting up to shoot across the airfield. There's still two, three Bulldogs in play for British. They don't have, Russia don't have enough AT for this. They're gonna have to snipe all the gunners out of these things. And they still have zero point trolling around south of the airfield. Oh, I guess Kablamo died. died. I didn't see, uh, I didn't see where he, uh... I didn't see how he died, but... Big oof. Six kills, though. Oh, here comes the smoke. And here we go. This is the Russian trump card here. They get in position here, they can fire across the field. They got a shot at it. And here they go, crossing the road. Bulldogs starting to take some uh, poking shots here at the Russians. Looks like they got Frederick here as a lat. Could still get a shot off. I think they have another lat or two in here. Yeah, they got Bartok still up. He's a hat. And he's got a tandem lo rocket loaded. He wants to try to take a shot here. They're trying to smoke out on foot. Entrance, uh, Juliet 537. Yeah. So I think Bartok and Blackbeard have decided yeah, they yeah. want to uh, cross south here. West. And the Russians, on the other hand, are set up and trying to shoot. The Bulldogs got these guys covered up pretty well. Uh, Zero Point is moving this way. Black, uh, Frederick and Bartok over here looking for sh looking for kills. They're both hats, man. Zero Point stationary in the gunner seat, looking for people to shoot. Doesn't see these guys. They don't see them either. Oh, uh, there we go. I think Frederick's got a shot. Frederick takes a shot. It's low. Frederick gets hit. Blackbeard goes down. Bartok gets a bullet. And the rocket missed. Rocket was short, I think. That's one hat left. It comes down to Bartok to get four Bulldog kills. Good luck. And British take a lead in kills, 25 to 23. Bartok gonna extend a little bit south before he tries to take a shot at that bulldog. It's within, it's a reasonable shot to make though. If he pulls up, 
if he pulls up right about here, he could try to sort of shimmy his way through the through the uh, bushes and just get a head-on shot. But Russia down to eight. Wait, Russia down to nine. Uh, Regan of Terra and Summers are still living life over here on the fence. Wait, why is everyone over here? Wait, Oddball? What? Did I miss? Oddball actually made it in. Airborne's yeah, dead. He's in the back red crate, the second one. The one's Airborne's deeper. Dead. Bartok, I think he tried to take a shot at the uh, vehicle. Hey, he got uh, zero point to get out. Zero point's gonna try to repair that thing. Bartok's gonna get a kill. They throw a grenade at uh, Oddball. No, he's still up. He's still up. Oddball kills Dorf. And Alpha's gonna kill Oddball. Oh, he trades! Oddball. Living life as long as he can. Meanwhile, the Russians have, uh... Killed- the uh, Zero Point's dead. There's one, two operational Bulldogs right now. And if Bartok can rearm... Seriously bad news. Russia pull it back up. 29 kills to 28 for British. British down to... Revy and a Bulldog. Looks like three on foot plus a Bulldog gunner. Five. British down to five. kind of amazing that British are still having so many problems with this defense. The Russians are just maneuvering on them pretty well. Bulldogs using all of that ammo to give Russians a moment of pause trying to cross this field. Bartok, however, gets close. He's got dash B in tow. Bartok's got a shot lined up. Bartok takes a shot. It's a long shot. He shoots across the airfield to the far uh, hangar and misses. He's short about 30 meters. Well, he's maybe short about 20 meters. He takes another shot. Still low, short. Short about 20 meters, 20, 25 meters that time. Dash B gets destroyed. <clears throat> And Bartok rearms his RPG tube. I think we're even up now. I think it's uh, five to five. And two Bulldogs still operational and crude for the British defense. This is getting really intense now. Bartok is going to try to uh, get in the compound from the back. And the Brits have no one watching the back door now. Silent, following behind. Grom, Liberal Pundit, and Thin Bones. Thin Bones drawing some fire here. He's trying to stay close to the. Uh... This is not a. Uh, this is not a good play. Or he's gonna try to take a shot from here. He wants to. He looks like he's trying to take a shot through the fence. He's looking for people that are shooting. But, uh... Grom and Liberal Pundit are gonna make it across the field here. Bartok gets into the compound. And... Revy's here by himself. If Bartok wants to roll the dice and try to run up on Revy, he might be able to crawl. But Bartok thinks twice about it and he's gonna... He's attracted to the sound of the gunfire. Bartok runs in. Now it's lucky that Tails came back up to the front of the formation here. 
Oh, I'm taking shots. I can't see where from. I think the Bulldog is close to running out of ammo. Silent now, clearing bunker to, or hangar to hangar. He's gonna have to be careful because he's coming up on Revy. And he has the very slimmest of angles to shoot if he wants to head on assault this. If he crawls and tries to get behind the, uh... Wait, Bartok trying to make a push onto Tails here. Tails got hit. Tails is dead! And Bartok is now going to try to take uh, another shot here on the uh, BTR. Oh, on the Bulldog, and oh, Silent makes it, and Revy's not looking. I need infantry support. Revy calls out for help. Silent could have a shot at taking out Revy here, but Revy's on the pivot so fast. It's going to be kind of hard. What is Liberal doing? Oh, no, Liberal. Fucking, I need infantry here, dude. Revy is all alone. You're here on the red Meanwhile, me. God damn it. a miss from Bartok doesn't appear to have done anything. No kills. Liberal throws a smoke. Bartok takes another shot, and that one hit Adukin. And Revy gets shot out of the uh, Bulldog in the meanwhile. Russia closing it up. It's all down to one hangar. Actually, it's not even down to one hangar. The Russians are on the radio. Silent digging down the radio. The British are going to have to move out of the northern hangar. Oh, no. Bartok is closing in. And here comes the Duke and Dr. Forms. They're going to try to get the... They're going to try to get the save on the radio here. Bartok got spotted. Silent still digging. Yeah, I didn't think so. Liberals watching the corner. Okay. These guys pop out around the sandbags here. It's curtains. Push. They throw a grenade in. Lib puts two in the doctor forms. He's gonna bleed out. He's on the ground. He's prone. Got him. And Lib's dead. Duken makes the trade. And the gunner's dead. Bartok soloed him. It's down to a Duken. And the Duke gets shot in the back! And the British have lost what seemed to be... like stage four autism. <laughs> what seemed to be a sure thing has become an absolute mad assault. And it happened. Oh my God. That was brutal. What can you say to that? That is just a brutal end but awesome i mean it's awesome for y'all because y'all get to see it and i get to yell my head my freaking lungs out trying to you know talk about this thing holy crap well that's iron kilt everyone uh i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> um oh my god that was insane. I didn't think the I didn't think the Russians had it in them at all to actually finish that out.